can y'all please help me locate this sperm donor? I'm trying to have him serve for child support and sole custody. Man, if you ever want to see an endless amount of foolishness, just take a look at social media. Guys, this is a place where women can go on there while they in their feelings and do some of the most ill-advised things. Now, we're going to take a look at this video and we're going to come right back. Can y'all please help me locate this sperm donor? I'm trying to have him serve for child support and sole custody. He refuses to give me his current address. Um, I had the sheriff in Atlanta try to serve his last known address. Obviously, he's not there. I have court coming up, and I just want this bastard served. He refused to help me out with these kids. He does the bare minimum. Um, his Everybody around him condones him being a deadbeat. I just really need help locating this bastard. Give me an address where he work. Whatever you can find on this boy, please help me out. I really would appreciate it. And once again, he lives in Atlanta. His name, he works at Chili's, I believe. Um, I just need help locating him. Like, I just want to have this boy served, okay? So I can have my day in court. I could get the child support for my kids and call it a day. I have left this man over five years ago. He is salty. He's bitter. He gets on the internet every chance he get to basically... Um, discredit me as a mother talks down on me time and time again and i'm fucking tired y'all i need help if you know where this boy lives you could contact me let me know discreetly you see him around i just want this boy served his papers okay like i said for child support and so custody even though the child support they said they'll find him but child is taking forever okay and it's just like this bastard refuses to do anything okay he wants me to get on my knees and beg him tooth and nail to help me with these kids i would rather die okay before i beg this bastard for anything so now it's in the court's hand and as well i would like to take him for abandonment court and if you don't know anything about abandonment court i'll put a little screenshot as well so you could just read it over right quick he don't do anything dead beasts like this deserve to be in jail okay Single mothers, single mothers, guys. They want to blame everybody else and not take accountability for their bad choices in men. It's like, don't blame me as if somebody around you didn't give you a hint that this dude was a deadbeat guy. But on the other hand, it's always two sides to every story. What we do know is this woman is taking a social media to try to embarrass this guy because there's plenty of other ways that you could go about finding somebody without letting the whole world know your business. And even if you don't want this man, you don't, you can't stand this guy, this man is still your children's father. But, when, like, but obviously she don't care as if her children won't see this one day or they won't feel some kind of way about her talking bad about their father. Or they might start to resent their father. And I think that's what the whole I, I, I think this is what the whole point is. Now she's saying this guy went on the internet and started talking bad about it. So I guess she got in a feeling and got and, and, and gonna go back and forth with him to try to garnish uh, sympathy from the public. But hey, child support already said that they they got ways to find the guy and, and, and she admitted herself. The guy's in Atlanta, he works at Chili's. But it's always another way to find somebody instead of putting all your business out there. And the last but not least, she's sitting up here talking about she fighting for soul custody, which tells me it ain't about the children having a father. It's about her getting money because he is the father.